Hey there! Welcome to another video on the Curved Road Challenge. You guys seemed to like the first video and wanted to see how the city would evolve, so I'll keep making videos from time to time to showcase the city's progress. To recap, we're building an entire city from scratch using only curved roads. I am allowed to use straight roads for guidelines and references as long as I delete them later and the final road layout of the city is composed of only circular roads. We're starting in the residential district, where I continue to finalize the rest of the road layout for this area. I start by leveling the terrain using the level terrain tool to make everything flat. I don't mind natural changes in elevation, but this district will look better if it is totally flat. I then work on the residential blocks and neighborhoods. For this, I build another radius line, so that I can make the rest of the circle lines accurately. Unfortunately, I got the angle of the outer circle wrong when I built it, so I had to rebuild everything all over again. When you have a lot of intersecting roads, sometimes the smart guiding tool snaps at the wrong angle and you get your curve wrong. Thankfully, I noticed that in time. Here's a before and after comparison, so you can clearly see the difference. I then delete the roads I don't need, namely the radius road that's closest to the river, so I can rebuild the highway segment and the radius at the center so that I can replicate the wavy pattern that crosses the different zoning blocks. I then move on to start working on the layout for the center of the district. This will be composed of another set of concentric circular lines. But don't think it will be a repetition of what we already have, where I just zone a bunch of low-density residential and be done with it. No, I plan to have something nice at the center, such as a monument or a fancy leisure area. And I want to have a clear contrast between this area and the residential area, so in the middle I'm going to build something really cool, something that I'll be showing you on a different video. After building all the circular zoning blocks, aka the other donuts, I delete all the guidelines, including the crossing roads that we were using for the center of the circles, which we don't need anymore, as well as one of the circular lines where I'll be building the part, I mean, the super cool thing I told you about. I continue the wavy pattern in this section as well, thus setting up a network of wavy collector roads that lead all the way to the center of the district. I have slightly larger waves in the middle wider donut. As you can see, the edges of the outer blocks do not line up perfectly with the references that we have in the middle, so I had to do a bit of trimming. But overall, I think the shape turned out alright. I'm still not sure about what I'm going to do, or what I'm going to build between the highway, which are the roads that you see at the bottom, and the district, but perhaps a cycling path that goes along the highway and provides easy access between the residential and the industry. For the sake of symmetry, I replicated the wavy pattern that I had on the right side at the top section and built an identical shape on the left side as well and I adjusted the zoning accordingly. I speak of symmetry, but you will notice that I actually missed a road on the right side of this new shape, but don't worry, I'll build it later. In the meantime, I wrap up the works on the residential district by deleting some road segments that I don't want and I then move on to another section of the city. I zone some industry in our existing industrial layout because demand is actually high, and I then build a secondary road that connects the industrial district directly to the highway. This road is much longer than the other accesses that we have leading to the city, so no one is going to drive here for now, but in the future I'm thinking of connecting my trash services to this road, as I think that will help lighten the traffic in the industrial district. Right now, we have both industrial and trash facilities placed in the same area and using the same road network, which will be a problem in the future because both generate a lot of traffic. I took a lot of attempts at making an organic road that pleased me, but in the end it was a bit pointless as I'll have to delete some parts of it for what we'll be building next. I then upgraded the main dirt roads to avenues. I thought it was about time we had some faster access in and out of the city and also because we had a good amount of money available. I was actually planning on building a proper industrial highway access here, 
but because traffic was flowing so nicely, I decided to leave that battle for another day, leaving that lazy direct connection alone for the time being. I also upgraded the roads in the industrial district. The collector is a four lane, which I absolutely love by the way, this new type of road they've added. And the local roads are industrial roads, because I like the look of them. The avenue was also upgraded to the industrial type. When trying to upgrade the rest of the roads, I realized that some of the landfills were in the way, so I couldn't upgrade some sections, which is absolutely going to mess with my OCD. So I set the landfills all too empty before I can delete them. I'm planning on using only recycling centers and incinerators for trash management anyway. I upgraded the roads that I could and also aligned the misaligned ends of that industrial block that were really annoying me every time I look at them. I then added some more roads to the pattern for overall looks and upgraded all the roads that I could, moving towards the center of the industrial layout, where I'll be working next. I still have no update on what I'm going to put here. At first I thought about the level 1 unique building, the statue of industry, because you know, it should be a suitable building to put here, but I still haven't unlocked it yet, and I'm not sure we'll be getting to 10,000 industrial squares in this city. Maybe I'll unlock it in another city offline, or I can do something else with this place, like putting a boring bus depot, taxi garage, or something like that. In the meantime, I prepared the area beforehand and finalized this district's road layout by adding another circle to the inside, for which I've had to readjust the length of the auxiliary roads, and I also expanded the wavy collectors to the center. Lastly, I worked on relocating the wind turbines, which are underperforming because they were placed in a windless area. For this, I built an elevation, kind of like a plateau. Notice how the elevated area has more wind than the area below? I don't want to create a mountain, so I'm raising the land little by little until the turbine can generate 8 megawatts of power. I deleted the trees for a better view of what I was doing. This is also a good time to comment that I've added the extra landscaping tools mod, which makes landscaping free and gives you unlimited soil. Terraforming is going to be a crucial element for making this city, so there's not really a point in handicapping myself here. After I have the right altitude, I work on giving it the shape, because I don't want the plateau to just be a random blob in the middle of the city. Oh no, the slope of the elevation will perfectly outline a circular road segment so it looks good. What I'm doing here is a series of tests to kinda get the shape that I wanted and I ended up bulldozing the work several times. This is also where I destroy a portion of the organic road access below that I built earlier. Eventually I created something that was not only way too big, but it also didn't fit to the industrial road layout below, so you'll actually see me grabbing some guidelines from the nodes on those roads and rebuilding a more fitting shape. I then adjusted the elevation to outline the shape, and I rebuilt the organic road axis. Then I started working on connecting the roads on top to the network below. For this, I used the slope terrain tool to make natural elevation changes so that I could build an axis road that would look natural and organic. I proceeded to delete some trees. Personally, I don't like to have trees on sharp slopes, in this case, the greyish brown areas. I mean, realistically, I guess trees can pretty much grow anywhere where there's soil and favorable conditions, but if you think of the grey area as rock instead of soil and earth, then it makes sense not to have trees here. For this case, I also think it looks better. Another thing I've done was to adjust the plateau and give it a more natural and organic shape. This way, instead of blatantly looking like it was man-made from scratch, it could pass as a natural land feature that was later modified and adjusted to build the wind turbines that the city needed. After rearranging the terrain to my liking and working on that tree placement, I then proceeded to finally reallocate the turbines to the top of the plateau, where they would majestically oversee the entire city from above. I wanted them all to be equidistant from one another, and here, unfortunately, I had no guides, so I had to eyeball it as best as I could, but I think it turned out very well in the end. Lastly, and I almost forgot to do this while I was recording, I needed to remove those straight roads on the edges of the platform, as we can only have curved roads. 
the first one was easy, but the other one was a bit tricky because it had a third road connecting to it at a weird angle, which was messing up the nodes. But in the end, I managed to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. I'll meet you live for a recap and overview of what we've done. But before we do that, I want to give a quick shout out to the most recent channel members and super chatters, who have taken a step further into supporting the channel. Simply watching the videos is enough and greatly appreciated. But if you'd like to support the channel even further, you can do so by clicking the join or the thanks buttons below the title of this video. Thank you so much for sticking around and helping the channel prosper. Okay guys, so a quick recap of what we've done so far and starting off with the last build this platform for the wind turbines, I think they have turned out really really nicely I think it fits very well with the shape that the city is taking so far and it's also very efficient because the wind turbines were all set over here and they were, um, you know, in the middle of the industries which was quite necessary in the beginning of the game because we didn't have a lot of money to work with but at the moment we've put them in a much more efficient and also more adequate place and if I, you take a look at them you can see that they all, they all are producing 8 megawatts of power so they're running at full capacity pretty much and I can even improve that and demonstrate that by going into this panel and I can show you this, this dark blue area that represents the wind power and the bluer the area, the more windy it is and hence more power for the wind turbines. In fact, I like it so much that I think there's also a possibility that I'm going to replicate this in another area of the town, probably, I don't know, perhaps hugging the highway here or even close to, to the river, and make a region that is completely dedicated to renewable energy. And of course, in order to do that, we'll have to install the 25,000 mod so we can reach this area of the map. We also have some more spots available for wind turbines over here, but I think I'll add them when we are in need of more power. The landscaping was also pretty good, I'm actually very satisfied with it. It looks natural and somewhat man-made at the same time, which gives it a nice vibe, I believe, and we have this organic road wrapping around it. And speaking about this road, it will prove useful in the future because it will uh, give access to the trash management facilities. Maybe I'll extend this road all the way over here where I will create a trash management area. But that kind of goes against my idea of providing a region for renewable energy, so I'll have to think about it. But one thing's for sure, I cannot have all my trash uh, over here because that's not going to be sustainable in the future. This area has a lot of industry and is going to keep on growing as we zone more industry in this particular loop that we have, that we have built on the last video. Oh, and by the way, I just found something. Let me just delete this. But yeah, this area has a lot of industry and it will generate a lot of traffic. And trash also produces a lot of traffic as well because of all the, the garbage trucks. At the moment, I have put all the landfills to empty. As you can see, one of them is already empty. And when they're all empty, I'm going to delete them and upgrade these segments of road um, that are still dirt roads because I cannot upgrade them yet. In parallel to that, I've built some additional recycling centers to help the landfills empty a bit faster. Moving on to the uh, last section, or the first section that we've built today, we have completed the road layout for the residential district, or the first residential district of the city. This provides us a nice foundation to zone some stuff here as the demand for residential grows. So we have a lot of zoning blocks to fill. As I've mentioned in the time lapse, I'm going to work a little bit on this area and turn it a bit more special. Perhaps put a monument in the middle or a unique building, something like that. And I can even turn this into a walkable area using the plazas and promenades DLC. Zone a lot of commercial here. This is something that I'm still trying to figure out. One thing that I will do for sure on the next video is work on the outer area, so this donut, the area that's going to split the residential district and the central area. So you'll have to wait for the next episode to see what's that all about. 
Overall, the city is developing uh, naturally by this point. We didn't do a lot of development and zoning in this video. It was more like infrastructure and uh, work on this particular construction for the wind turbines. So not a lot of progress when it comes to um, the increase in population, but these are all things that are necessary as well. And don't worry, we'll have plenty of time to upgrade and develop the city further. We also don't seem to be having a lot of uh, traffic problems yet. I was mostly concerned about this junction, but as you can see, it's pretty healthy at the moment with no anomalies so far. Eventually I'll have to turn this into a proper interchange, uh, the same for uh, this area as well and also this one over here, but for the time being this is pretty much controlled and even in the industrial district itself things seem to be flowing very very nicely. As for stats of the city that's not a lot that I can show you right now. The traffic is at 92% which is pretty normal with not even 3000 people living in the city. Regarding education, since we have built the first elementary school, we already have 35% of our population educated, so we have started to slowly building on that education. And as for development, everything is pretty much at its lowest levels, because we have very little services, so no public transport and no leisure facilities whatsoever. But we'll have plenty of time to work on that in the future. But anyway guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching the video all the way until the end and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care and as always, have fun.